welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined this afternoon in the studio by Andrew Rugege, who is the Regional Director for the ITU Regional Office for Africa. Andrew, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, the theme for this year's Plenipotentiary Conference is, is connecting the world together. And I wanted to find out, how's your region been making strides to get everyone connected? Uh, over the last four years, let's say, you know, since the last plenipotentiary conference? Uh, perhaps I'll start from the back end, uh, talking about regional initiatives, because that, that has been our, our thrust. Uh, we've got uh, five regional initiatives for Africa that were decided by uh, WTDC, and uh, some of them were continued from the uh, last WTDC before 2017. But these uh, building digital economies and fostering innovation. The second one is uh, emerging broadband networks uh, and uh, uh, encouragement of those. The third one is building confidence and security in our networks. The fourth uh, is, the fourth is uh, uh, capacity building. And the fifth, uh, is in uh, uh, spectrum management and uh, monitoring. Now, those, those are very broad subjects, but uh, when you look at them, they include anything that will develop, that will use ICT to develop uh, Africa. Now, if you, look at, um, if you look at the very first one, uh, building digital economies, uh, you start from what can ICT do uh, to make lives better? Uh, what can uh, ICT do? And ICT, when I say ICT, it's telecommunications and ICT, which is our main uh, main strive. Uh, what, what, how can it help to make the lives of Africans better? So you look at how can you use ICT in agriculture? How can you use ICT in health? Uh, how can you use it in education? And particularly uh, in this cycle of regional initiatives, we've. Uh, uh, been working with uh, other organizations. We seek partners in making uh, ICT work better because we can't do it alone. Now, uh, for example, just a few, uh, a few examples. Uh, we are working with uh, WHO uh, in a project under Regional Initiative 1, which we are calling uh, Digital Health for Africa. And what this seeks to do is helping countries building, build their uh, health systems around uh, digital platforms. There are many, many little platforms in, in every country, uh, and they all deal with health, but there is no unified platform. So we are looking at educating leaders, creating uh, digital health leaders. We are looking about uh, at integrating their systems, and so on and so forth. But secondly, we are also uh, looking at uh, how do we develop a generation of kids that understand ICT? How do we bridge that divide? And we started with the gender digital divide. And we developed a project with UN women uh, called African Girls Can Code. And what that is, it's, uh, it's uh, a project that has three objectives. One, teaching young girls at a very young age how to code so they grow up in that culture. Secondly, it is uh, building awareness among countries, uh, ministries of education, ministries of ICT, uh, to build ICTs and to build coding into the curricula of schools at a very young age. And thirdly, it is to create a platform where the ones that have built these skills can go, uh, one, continue to engage with their mentors, two, um, find jobs, or find entrepreneurship. So that, we, we, we launched that uh, last uh, August, I think, and we had a boot camp for these young girls, 17 to 20, for uh, two weeks. You cannot imagine what the result was. Girls who came in not knowing anything about ICT, about computers, went back with skills that 
that can uh, do gaming through coding, that can design things, design nice dresses that you could put on a New York catwalk. So it's, it's things like that, that uh, on the one hand you are, you are bridging that divide, but on the other you are giving these young people a livelihood and giving them an opportunity to know that they can choose ICT as a career path. Which will be a very strong one, I'm sure, in the, in the future as it is now, uh, but it could only grow more. And I just wanted to ask you, in terms of the future, what are ITU's plans uh, for the next uh, coming years for your region? The plans, of course, we, we've got operational plans, but we also have got strategic plans that have been decided, for example, uh, during PP, during WTDC. But all these revolve, again, uh, on how does Africa develop? and how does uh, ICT become a tool to accelerate? How do they meet these SDGs? You know, apart from SDG 9, ICT is really not, does not really feature, it's not an SDG by itself, but it is that enabler, it is that accelerator that will help us meet uh, the development, sustainable development goals. So in the next four years, we are looking to uh, assist countries meet uh, these sustainable development goals. Along that, it means we are addressing education, we are addressing water, we are addressing agriculture, and we are addressing employment and particularly entrepreneurship. So that's going to be my focus. My second focus is engaging other uh, sister organizations in the, in the UN system. You have to take advantage of every facility that you can get. Because uh, in Africa, there are, there are very few uh, opportunities with the developed uh, private sector that would be able to contribute. So we have to encourage them along. And so I'm continuing to engage with other uh, heads of agencies in the, in the UN system to be able to come together, uh, synergize, and then use ICTs to achieve their goals. But Mine as well. That's wonderful. Now, finally, do you have a message for participants here at the Planet Century Conference and also to our, our wider audience as well? Yes, I do. Number one, I would like to congratulate everybody. This has been a wonderful exercise. It's not easy to go three weeks um, with all the fatigue, with all the work. So I would like to congratulate them. To the Africans, I would like to say, this is your organization. I'm looking to work with you. I'm looking for your guidance. I will bring you expertise. This is what ITU does. So we are partners. Let's become stronger partners in meeting your, your needs. And thirdly, to the wider audience, Africa is open for business, especially in this area of ICTs. We are looking for investors. We are looking for partners. And we are giving you a platform to meet to, to, to find the needs, you have the supply, so come and see where you can invest your money. Fine words. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the studio in the next uh, few years, and thank you very much indeed for coming in today. Thank you, Max. It's always a pleasure. Andrew, thanks so much.